Sante for Broadway and Thresher Magazine. I'm Emily George. Today we're going to be making a cocktail called a penicillin. The penicillin is a more modern cocktail that was created by Sam Ross, who's a bartender at Milk and Honey in New York City. So if you're ever out that direction, stop by and have him make you one of his original creations. For this cocktail, you're going to need two different kinds of scotch. A blended scotch, which I've chosen J&B, and an Islay scotch, which is from a particular region in Scotland, and I've chosen the Bowmore. Uh, they do a really nice 12-year scotch that I've chosen for this cocktail. You'll also need a honey syrup, uh, which I'm using a local to Ohio honey called Gambier Gold. And you just take equal parts honey and hot water and stir to combine, and then let it come back down to room temperature before you use it for the cocktail. So to get started, I'm going to put in a couple of slices of fresh, peeled and sliced ginger. I'll do an ounce of the honey syrup, and then an ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice. And I really love these hand presses that have been popular lately. Uh, they're really convenient and you can find them in most of your local home goods stores. So we'll just do an ounce of lemon juice here into the cocktail. And then we're going to muddle these ingredients to combine. So we want to mash up the ginger and extract those flavors out into the rest of the cocktail. And then we'll go ahead and add two ounces of our J&B scotch. And a good shake. Now shaking does a lot for a cocktail. It's not just about dilution, it's about making it the right temperature, about combining the flavors, and especially when you're using fresh citrus, it really wakes up the cocktail. So now we'll strain our cocktail, and I like to use a double strainer when there's any sort of fruit involved, because it just helps to decrease all those pulpy bits that might be in there in the end. Fresh ice into the glass. And then we'll finish with about a quarter of an ounce of the Islay of the Baumor right over the top just to float. Really lends a nice aromatic character to the cocktail. And then maybe a nice rustic lemon peel. Goes right on top for a little squeeze. And there you have it, the penicillin.